Welcome to Grobenswinningen Airport in Germany. This is the home of the recently formed Wings Flight Academy. Its unique hilltop location above the River Moselle makes it a beautiful place to fly. Our premium aircraft is the Diamond DA-42. The composite airframe, modern aerodynamics and efficient turbo diesel engines make it a pleasure to fly. The cabin is modern, well equipped with G1000 glass cockpit, making it a fantastic platform for both multi-engine training and later instrument flying. Diamond has also removed much of the complexity of operating a twin-engine aircraft, and you'll see what I mean once we get going. This is an easy aircraft to transition to from single-engine experience. We'll start by getting familiar with how the DA-42 flies, then we'll start your multi-engine training. This generally involves single-engine operation. Multi-engine training is all about dealing with an engine failure. Flying with two engines is easy. Flying a twin on just one engine is more complicated. Flying a twin isn't much different than flying a single-engine aircraft. It's bigger, faster, and things happen quickly. You'll have to be on your toes. Are you ready? I'll get our clearance. Koblenz ground, Delta Golf Echo Lima Romeo from Wings Academy, ready to taxi, BFR to the east. Delta Golf Echo Lima Romeo, Koblenz ground, clear to taxi to runway 06. Clear to taxi to runway 06, Delta Golf Echo Lima Romeo. You have the flight controls. Taxi us to the runway. Okay, follow the yellow line to the right ahead of us. We are going to continue taxiing to the end so we can use the entire runway. Taxiing a twin is no different than a single engine airplane. Keep the speed down, it will get there. Okay, top here. You see the arrows on the runway ahead? That indicates a displaced threshold. I've seen qualified pilots forget this, so I'm reminding you ahead of time. We can take off on a displaced threshold, but we are not allowed to land on it. The displaced threshold isn't reinforced to take the repeated impact of landing aircraft like the runway is, Okay, the pre-takeoff checklist looks good. I'll call the tower. Koblenz Tower, Diamond Delta Golf Echo Lima Romeo is ready to go at runway 06. Delta Lima Romeo, cleared for takeoff. East departure approved. Cleared for takeoff, Delta Lima Romeo. Okay, go ahead and take off. This is all yours.
Takeoff is no different than any other aircraft. Line up and slowly move the throttles to full. Full throttle. Good. Lift the nose at 80 knots. Okay, gear up. Each climb at 90 knots. Looking good, right on speed. Let's continue climbing to 4,000 feet and give me a turn to 090. I bet the single you were flying before didn't climb like this. DA-42 has fantastic visibility, doesn't it? The tip-up canopy is great for that. Nice flying. Seems like you've got an understanding with the DA-42 already. Here comes 4,000 feet. Level off at 4,000 and maintain a heading of 090. Eat the throttle at 92% and let the aircraft accelerate to 150 knots. Pretty fast, yes? Best thing about flying a twin is still... Okay, I failed the left engine. Just keep it steady. The good engine is pulling on the right, while the bad one is adding drag on the left. We need to zero out the yaw motion so we're no longer pulling to the right. The first thing you want to add is enough rudder to keep us flying straight. In this case, Use a lot of right rudder. The slip indicator, or ball, is at the top of the primary flag display. It's the small bar under the up arrow. Try to keep the ball just on the right side toward the good engine. Also notice the aircraft wants to roll into the dead engine, so bank into the good one to compensate. It's also very important to maintain airspeed on one engine. If you get slower than 76 knots, or a minimum controllable airspeed, you cannot maintain directional control with the rudder. It is vital to keep this in mind, because with one engine, you have less rudder authority. Once you've got the rudder under control, you can adjust power on the good engine. In any other twin-engine aircraft, we'd have to feather the prop on the bad engine. But the DA-42 does that automatically. 
another good reason to transition into twins with this advanced aircraft. Last thing we do is secure that inoperative engine. I'll do that now. Engine master goes off, alternator to off, fuel selector to off. Okay, engine secured. Okay, let me see that you can fly straight and level on one engine. We are a little high. Lower the nose and maintain 4,000. Okay, good. Now let's make a turn back to the airport. It's dangerous to turn toward the dead engine, so turn away from it when at all possible. Go ahead and make a turn to 240 degrees. Turning away from the dead engine is slow. Just take it easy and make sure to keep your side slip to a minimum. Okay, great. You're doing well so far.